All right, so FinCom coming to order at 6.36, May 1, and let's just identify ourselves for the record. Sandy, will you start? Sandy Kuykers, Carol Dogolinski, Lynn Mazzoli, Ryan Hogan, Dick Vandenberg, and Gene Lovett is here. Okay, so um, anybody have any last-minute questions or concerns about the, either the special town meeting or the annual for tonight? You didn't hear anything about the school, town, the school, gap in the school budget, they were open. Gene, why don't you speak to that a little bit in terms of ongoing process and stuff? Yeah, so the um, superintendent of the meeting here, myself, and the town administrator have been meeting um, we met a couple times to discuss kind of what their story is, the driving factors for the FY24 budget, and they would like, or we would like them to be in front of the FinCom in your June meeting. Uh, to discuss where we are and, you know, kind of the outcome of those meetings and, you know, where they see the budget. And then we'd be looking to put an article on the fall town meeting. Now, we don't know what that looks like yet. We don't know the, what um, new growth is going to be certified at, um, but we would like to address some of their concerns at the fall town meeting. So, Gene, so what is that? Instead of surprising the FinCom in October, September, yeah. October, we want to, you know, give you a prelim in the June. So what are some of the unknowns yet in terms of like income or funds that will be available? The, well, we won't receive the final state numbers until probably July. Okay. Um, but really new growth is the, the question mark at this point. And when do we know that? That uh, typically, uh, I think Chris is expecting it a little bit earlier this year, uh, but it's usually around the September, definitely before the, October, the, the November town meeting. Okay. Would you say that the discussions so far have been positive in terms I would of say that, yes. yeah. people seeing things that are workable and so on and so forth? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think it's it's really again telling the story of what's driving the budget. Yeah. Um, in you know taking a look at that and you know I don't know how many of you follow the school committee meetings, but I, I don't watch them. So to bring that to you as well, and to let you be aware of where they stand and what's driving you know, the increases yeah. in the budget. So Lynn, we were chatting before you came in, but we're gonna meet in June. We have to decide which, but part of that will be a presentation from the school committee, right, Gene? On Correct. Yeah. budget proposals for uh, what we need to do, so. All right, any questions, so Sandy? I, so ahead. I have a question kind of relating to how Howard voted because he did not want to approve the, the, the raise structure because the school was in need. And he, I think that was his thought process, that the money that we were appropriating towards the wage thing would be taking away from what the school needed. And so now I have concerns, too, that that. What's that? I was just asking if you know what Pat because he's supposed sure. to be recording our meeting. Uh, I'll go grab him. Go ahead, Sandy. Okay, so does, does that change how we feel about the whole budget, actually? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's a good question. I was, I was we're kind of left hanging. Yeah, I watched, the, uh, I watched the recording again of our April 11 meeting mm -hmm. to see if I could get a sense when we voted on Articles 1 through 3 on why Howard voted no, and I emailed about it, but he didn't get back to me, but I wondered if it was um, more the fact that there were still some outstanding issues to be resolved and he didn't feel comfortable with voting to approve anything knowing that there was still Right. Some stuff to be worked on later. Does that sound right, Dean? Yeah, too? I didn't get it. It was contingent upon another right. article. I was more that I think at that point, because I think he'd asked us to go outside in the, and kind of work it through. I think at that point, I think he was just concerned that we weren't on the same page. I don't think it was, my opinion was that it was not related to anything else. Mm -hmm. It was just that there was that misunderstanding on whether or not that 300 plus thousand was included in the base. That's how I took it. Yeah. So what, what's your concern then, Sandy, for tonight then when we come to that? So if we're, if, if we're allocating monies but the 
budget isn't really quite set because the school is having difficulty, yeah. then how can we really recommend what we're recommending if, if there's an outstanding problem with school, that they couldn't meet that percentage that they were supposed to meet. They said, no way. So, um, as I, again, I looked at the tape again, and it seemed to me that the key was that the, the Finance Committee was willing to support it with the understanding that there was going to be this good faith effort between the, the town hall and the school to really come up with a solution. But it doesn't sound like that's happening. For the November meeting, maybe, and Gene, you, well, you, no, you think they're working on it, that's right? That's where I think it's happening. Okay. Um, we're meeting with the superintendent and with the business manager. We expect the school to be at your June meeting, again, to you know, talk about their budget again. And you know, my expectation is there'll be something at the fall town meeting. I don't know what that looks like, right? But I, I do expect that. No different than any other department, right? You know, if we have some announce that we haven't funded to the level that they. Tree one is the one that pops into my head. Mm -hmm. You know, we always go back in the fall time meeting to supplement that budget right. because once we know what new growth is truly certified as, mm -hmm. then we can, you know, feel more comfortable with putting a number in. Right. Um, so the June, the June FinTown meeting will be. Right. That will be part of it. Is to okay. we'll get an update on where they stand on all that. Yeah, I just felt like the gap was very. Wide. It wasn't just a, a small number, it was right. a pretty significant number that if we're going to say, yes, we have enough money to do the, the wage thing, but the school isn't quite, doesn't really have a set budget yet. It makes me very uncomfortable. Make sure you're at the June meeting. Oh, ex exactly. <laughs> but, you know, I just feel uncomfortable recommending this, knowing that that's still outstanding. Right. Carol? So when, uh, when you talk about new growth, has anybody checked with the, uh, the inspector to see what the, uh, uh, you know, what, how many permits did they Oh, yeah. No, this is a process. Yeah. This is, is the big last year. What, what's it look like? I'm sorry? What did, does it look like there's more building permits or less building permits? It does, but Chris is not going to say a number until he's done his work. Um, and, you know, that would be unfair to ask him at this point. You know, we put in a placeholder for the budget. I think right. the budget is 250 for new growth. We anticipate that to be more. We anticipate the, but I'm not gonna, yeah. you know, he's in the process of doing his work. He expects it to be done this summer. When you say Chris, who's who? The principal assessor. Okay, okay. But I mean, the building inspector would know more about what, what he's getting in for permits. He does, he works. not going to know. But, you know, how many, how many houses do we have permits for now compared to last year? I mean, the raising interest rates and a lot of builders are pulling back on building. They, they work together though. You know, Chris has to submit the um, the information to the state, so he gets his information with the building department, and they work together on that. Um, but again, we expect that number to be late summer. Um, at the, you know, Chris is optimistic that we're going to have it a little bit earlier than we did last year. But that's a that's kind of the nature of these town finances in a way, isn't it? You have your annual town meeting in May, but some yes. numbers you won't know until Correct. summer comes. Yeah. And this is not unusual. I, want, yeah. I, I really want to stress that. We have been using the spring town meeting, the fall town meeting for the last several years um, to operate the next year's operating budget. We, we always look to the fall town meeting to supplement the budget because we're conservative. You know, we, we do expect new growth to be higher than 250. But we're not going to put a number in there and then have it come in lower because then it's just not a good position to be in for the town. So um, we found this to be kind of we're not penalizing any departments. We're you know just putting in a hold status and then we, we address it again. And you know I stop my list right after this town meeting of you know things that come up. Again, you're planning next year's budget in March. Mm -hmm. You know when when the fall comes in, we've started July. We you know you have a couple months on these rebels and you can kind of see where. You know, any any shortfalls that we have, but okay. Uh, anybody else on either the special or the rec annual town meeting? So, if there are questions from the floor on why someone voted no or someone abstained, I'll do my best to answer in a general way, and we'll see how that goes. So, um, all right. Let's talk about 
our date then, uh, June 13 or 27. I think Jean would prefer the 27th, uh, just because that gives her a little more time to see how things shake out. I think the school would like to do the 13th because they're still in the school year and so on. Does anybody have a preference one way or the other? Or do you know if you can't make one or the other because you're going to go to Italy on vacation? <laughs> <laughs> Going in September. Okay. <laughs> Going in the summer. Shall we? I would prefer the 27th. The later. That gives Jean more time to get stuff that we may have to sign, uh, you know, transfers and things, and you know, otherwise we're gonna go the 13th, then we're gonna go the 27th. So I prefer just going on the 27th. Shall we do that, everybody? The 27th. Mm -hmm. And okay. we also have uh, we also have a couple minutes to approve. I sent you those a couple yeah. days ago. The March minutes. So let's plan on June 27, okay? okay? And then we'll also uh, get organized for the next time. So if anybody has a burning desire to be the chair, <laughs> that'll be your time to, to step up. Um, so, Jean, reserve funds maybe after the meeting tonight. Correct. Right? I, I did talk with the chair this morning and requested that you guys stay in session should Article 1 fail. Okay. Of, the, um, of the special. Of the special. So we in, um, we need to pay for the flyers that were just mailed out, mm -hmm. and so the finance committee would not have enough money to pay for that. And economic development wages um, will definitely need a reserve fund transfer to get through the year. So in a few minutes we'll dismiss to go to the town meeting. We're not going to adjourn. Mm -hmm. And after the town meeting we'll gather together up front to do what we need to do, and then we'll adjourn there. So stay tuned on that. <laughs> But no reserve fund transfers for us right now, Gene, right? No. Okay. No. All right. Anybody have anything that we need to talk about before the town meeting? All right. So let's, uh, we don't need a motion right now because we're not adjourning. So we're just going to dismiss now to the auditorium and then we'll continue our meeting uh, after the, the meeting is finished. So got that, Sarah? Mm -hmm. So it's now.